From a car in eastern China that lost power after getting hit by lightning, and a house in Muskogee, Oklahoma that went up in flames after a powerful jolt, to a plane over Heathrow Airport that survived a nasty strike, and a tree in Wisconsin that got blown to pieces during a freak storm. Here are 10 of the scariest lightning strikes caught on camera. When lightning strikes, the bolt flows into the ground and branches out. It always follows the path of least resistance. That's why it usually strikes trees, telephone poles, and streetlights. But on July 7th of 2017, a family in Vermont learned that lightning doesn't always hit the tallest objects around. During a family reunion, a husband, wife, and son pitched a large tent in the backyard. They must have run out of rooms inside the house. Thankfully, they were an adventurous family with plenty of camping experience. They just weren't ready for what happened next. Oh my god! Oh my god! Freaking god! Oh my god! I got that on video! Get in here! I got that on video! Clearly, everyone ran inside as soon as the first bolt struck. It looks as though one family abandoned their marshmallows. Those gashes in the ground are the paths of least resistance. Because the ground is wet, the bolt stays close to the surface. It looks like someone tried to dig gutters in the backyard. But isn't lightning supposed to strike the tallest objects around? Well, yes, but that isn't always the case. According to Hamid Rasul, a veteran space scientist and physics professor, lightning will strike shorter objects about 27% of the time depending on the conditions. As of 2023, we're still trying to unlock all the mysteries of lightning. Ningbo, China is a sub-provincial city in Zhejiang province. It's home to about 9.5 million people, half of which live within the built-up area. On July 4th of 2021, one local man had a one-in-a-million experience. Zhang was driving home from the highway when a storm moved overhead. He assumed he'd be safe in his car, but the sky had other ideas. Zhang's car was stone-cold dead. Crews had to move it to the side to wait for a tow truck to haul it away. Thankfully, Zhang was unharmed by the lightning strike. His dash cam wasn't so lucky. According to the National Weather Service, your car's metal shell will protect you during a lightning storm. The bolt usually hits your antenna or outer roof line. From there, it passes through the metal shell and tires before heading into the ground. Now, the heat from a lightning strike is enough to melt your antenna and pop your tires. The shock can find its way into the electrical system and totally fry the car, which is what happened to John. On a scarier note, the lightning can snake into the defrosting wires in your rear window and cause the glass to explode. Muskogee is a city of 37,000 people in eastern Oklahoma. Now, usually, they're worried about tornadoes, but violent lightning storms can still do some damage. Mike and Amy Miller learned that lesson the hard way. The older couple had left for a doctor's appointment as the storm moved overhead. On their way home, they noticed fire trucks heading toward their neighborhood. That's when Mike's sister called and said, your house is on fire. They worried they left a burner on or someone set their house ablaze. A neighbor's security system showed what really happened.
Like something out of a movie, a random lightning strike actually set this person's house on fire, and it didn't take long to turn into a massive blaze. According to the fire chief, the lightning hit the attic, likely setting fire to the insulation inside. Isn't insulation supposed to be fireproof? A lightning strike can superheat the air around it to 50,000 degrees. That is five times hotter than the surface of the sun. Good conductors don't get as hot. Bad conductors burn right up. And the air is one of the worst conductors of electricity. Firefighters were able to put the fire out, but not before it caused extensive damage. The living room, kitchen, and pantry were completely gone. Thankfully, old photo albums and home videos survived. Mike and Amy moved into a hotel while the insurance company inspected the damage. Hopefully, they were protected from mayhem like lightning. The Russian city of Omsk is an important hub along the Trans-Siberian Railway. So when the power goes out, you can imagine things get a little backed up. On August 8th of 2012, one bolt of lightning caused widespread outages across the city. A local man was recording the storm from his balcony when he caught the scary moment on camera. The bang was loud enough to set off nearby car alarms. Shock and impact sensors work by detecting vibrations. Loud sounds give off vibrations that are actually enough to trigger your car alarm. Fireworks and gunshots can have the same effect. As for the transformer, the lightning strike simply generates too much electricity and the whole thing explodes. Your home or business couldn't handle the voltage if it came directly from the power plant. So, it passes through transformers which lessen the voltage before sending it into your home. They're built to handle a ton of electricity, but lightning takes things to a whole new level. Morocco is a small country in northwestern Africa. If you've ever seen Casablanca, that's where it takes place. On March 28th of 2017, someone was recording from their balcony when they noticed a car coming down the road. What happened next looked like a scene straight from a Hollywood movie. Keep your eye on the oncoming car. A powerful bolt strikes to the top and smoke pours through the window. The driver steps on the gas, probably out of panic, before stopping the car. Everyone bails out of the vehicle just as a swarm of people come running to see what happened. Now we can't say for sure why their car immediately began smoking. Perhaps there was something inside that caught fire. It is technically possible for lightning to start a car fire. Thankfully, it seems all those involved walked away uninjured. Mount Dora is a small city north of Orlando, Florida. They're known locally as the Festival City, since they host several monthly festivals throughout the year. Some of those events take place on Lake Dora, a massive body of water in the middle of the city. Now, according to TripAdvisor, you can take plenty of boat tours on the lake if you want. Just uh, keep an eye on the weather. You don't want to get caught in the middle of a lightning storm. Well, I'm just kind of. It's pretty common for lightning to strike bodies of water, but what happens to all the fish? Well, you'd think they'd be turned into instant fish and chips, but you'd be wrong. Before a strike, positive charges build up on the water's surface. When the lightning hits, most of the discharge branches along the surface. Since fish swim below the surface, they're not affected. However, if they stuck their head up for some reason, they'd get zapped. Scientists don't know how deep lightning reaches in water, so just assume it's unsafe even if you dive down to swim with the fish. Watoma is a small city in central Wisconsin. They call themselves the Christmas tree capital of the world, though several other cities across America say the same thing. Still, the Wisconsin Christmas tree business is a $50 million a year industry, and plenty of it takes place in Watoma. 
But on April 8th of 2021, everyone in Watoma was talking about a different tree. While some high school students were preparing for a test, CCTV cameras captured a lightning bolt obliterating a tree outside their classroom. Look at how the bolt shoots down the trunk and blows the whole thing to pieces. The 9th and 10th graders were preparing for the ACTs, so the exploding tree was an exciting distraction. Meanwhile, a thousand miles away in Tyler, Texas, students at Bishop Gorman Catholic School were in for a shock when lightning struck a tree near the parking lot. All you need is this eight-second clip to understand the destructive power of lightning. Those cars are lucky the rest of the tree didn't fall. Nobody was hurt, but the lightning knocked out the school's phone service. According to reports, the tree exploded in the school's prayer garden. Talk about the wrath of God, huh? Santo Domingo is a municipality in the northern Philippines. As a country, the Philippines are considered to be the most storm-exposed place on Earth. On average, eight or nine tropical storms will make landfall each year. Another ten will at least enter Philippine waters. With them come heavy rain and violent lightning storms. On July 12th of 2022, a car full of people was driving through a rainstorm when lightning lit up the sky. You can hear the worry in their voices. Clearly, someone is afraid of lightning. If they weren't afraid then, they definitely are now. While the lightning never struck their car, it did come pretty close. Every follow-up strike sent a new level of panic down our camera person's spine. But as mentioned, you should be safe if lightning strikes your car. Most people think the rubber tires save you, but it's actually the metal roof. But convertibles, motorcycles, open-shelled cars, and fiberglass frames are still extremely vulnerable. They will not protect you from lightning. Now, while commercial airplanes are built to withstand lightning strikes, we can't say the same for single-person gliders. During a national glider competition in Utah, one lightning bolt struck a little too close for comfort. According to the pilot, the challenge course brought him and other contestants through a developing thunderstorm. After seeing this cockpit video, they probably won't do that again. Even if it was only a mile away, a mile is still too close when you're that high in the sky. If it hit him, the bolt could have sent his glider spiraling out of control. To his credit, he doesn't panic. He keeps along his course, and we imagine he finished the round. Now, we're not sure where this competition took place or who hosted it, but whoever was in charge should probably rethink their flight paths. No pilot should have to risk their lives for a trophy. Now, like we said, lightning bolts hit commercial airplanes all the time. They're built to withstand the shock. If they weren't, we'd have a ton of terrible accidents on our hands. On July 22nd of 2018, an avid plane spotter was recording from his flat near Heathrow Airport in West London. The weather was already grim. Dark skies, rain, and heavy clouds moved in quickly. He pulled out his iPhone and captured the moment when lightning struck an incoming flight. Keep your eye on the tiny light moving through the clouds. Now, while it looked pretty bad, the plane was perfectly fine. The bolt struck one wing, passed around the body, and exited off the other. The uh, sweet spot for plane strikes is between 5,000 and 15,000 feet. 
Anything over 24,000 feet has a near 0% chance of being hit by lightning. According to the National Weather Service, every commercial plane is struck by lightning at least once or twice per year. If you enjoyed this video and want to see another just like it, then be sure to click the link on screen now. With that, thanks for watching and be sure to tune in next time.